guys today i have something that i am super excited for and i'm gonna share with you guys some of the stuff i got from sephora spring press day so sephora does this um press day i guess i'm not sure how often but um, we got to preview some of the spring launches and they will be launching from February this year all the way to June I guess so it's a little bit of summer but yeah I have like this huge heavy bag of goodies that I can't wait to share with you guys and I've been so disciplined because I wanted to dig into this but I decided that I will do a video before I do that it's gonna be real quick so if any of you wanna full review or like try Jamie's on any of the products that seem interesting to you please let me know in the comment section below and yeah let me start with this smaller bag first so inside um I have these two lip products from Supergoop so they are a brand that does um sunblock and they have everything sun protection so they have like this mousse um, sunscreen that is like super super good and non-oily I got to try at the event and they have these for the lips because I don't um, put SPF on my lips and apparently you should because it's one of the most sensitive areas but yeah I'll not talk too much on each product because if not this video is going to take forever also got Percy and Reed's um, new treatment oil um, so this is my second bottle because I actually went to the one-on-one -on -one event this is from Blight a padding water pack and also from Blythe um, the press serum following that Burt's Bee um, soap buck and chamomile deep cleansing cream I got Kat Von D's pow setting powder brush I love Kat Von D's brushes this is what this looks like by the way um, the, her brushes are really soft so that's good this is from Akona, is Triad Pets. Not sure what this is, maybe like makeup removal wipes. Toner, cotton, ton, toner infused cotton pads. Elginis Recharge Night Press Serum. It's Press Serum, I think. Peter Thomas Raw Cucumber Detox Eye Patches. Um, I tried this at the event and it was like really nice and like super cooling, so I'm very excited to do this because I love eye masks. Okay, let me get on into the moonshot. Um, these are the lippies, so I got four of them. And this is very interesting. I think I showed it in like my vlog, but the tip of this is super like. You guys see it? I think it makes it like easier to apply. But yeah, this one is in fairly neat. I wish like that the packaging showed the actual colours because the packaging is all the same colour and you have to like read the shades. Um, also from Moonshot is the Big Bang Hand Cream and Lip Balm. Any VIPs here? June Jacobs Papaya Purifying Enzyme Mask and Mandarin Moisture Mask. So they're put like this and they're like travel friendly packs and multi-use so you don't have to like throw them away after one um, use. A pack of masks. This one is really interesting because this brand does like every sort of mask you can think of. Um, it's Coco Star, the brand, and they have like foot masks, hand masks, hair masks, and their facial masks are actually look like this. This is actually transparent, and you have like individual circles that you can just stick on your skin. Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. Uh, Kat Von D does like packaging very well, so this is what it looks like. Just translucent setting powder. Let me get on with the mask first. So for beloved girl mask, uh, let me see calcium lactate and sodium lactate. So if you know the brand for beloved one, this is actually a range that is targeted for younger women. So it's for beloved girl and cloud silk mask oh, um, it's very thin I tried it at the event like a little swatch so it's very very thin and I think it will adhere to the skin pretty well but I'll try it this one's really interesting the rubber mask from Dr. Judd so Dr. Judd always does good masks what this is is actually like this little ampoule that you put onto your skin and then you have the rubber mask sheet over so I've tried like modeling masks and this is a, apparently a not so messy method as compared to modeling masks and again it was super cooling so I doubt I'm gonna clean up like this mess on my bed later 
Power FX Perfect Setting Powder. Hmm, another setting powder. Seems like it's translucent too. It's like Christmas all over again, I swear. So, both from Kaolin. This is the Sparkling Blackhead Soap and the Pore Original Pack. So this product is actually very interesting because there is like this cooling mask and that there's this steaming mask. It's a two-in-one actually, so you get two products here. And what I was told was that you can use this like alternate days or like daily even for both masks if you are like diligent enough. Which I might try because when you steam, apparently the pores open up to clear out all the impurities and then you use the cooling one to close it up. Um, from Zoeva. Let's see. I've been seeing a lot of like brow products. And this is the brow spectrum. So let me first just say that this is hollow and I love the packaging. And let's open this up. Ah, so it's like a brow powder kit, I think. Interesting. Hey, wait, no. Is this brown? Okay, I think the the first shade is sorry to highlight and yeah, gradient brows maybe. I don't think I saw the Zoeva booth at the event though. Or did I miss it? Um, but yeah, keep that later. And I got a lot of this graphic brow. I think I got probably all the shades. So they have like M, M O C. I don't. I can't even pronounce it. Scenarius. What shade is this? <laughs> okay, let me just open it up to show you guys what it is. So it looks like this. It reminds me a bit of Anastasia's Brow Wiz. Yeah, very similar. And... Is there anything else? There's a Graphic Lash Mascara as well as... Graphic Brow Fix. Interesting. Half this video is just gonna be like me opening stuff and saying they're interesting. Okay, oh so this is I guess is a uh, eyebrow mascara. So graphic brow fix. And just mascara. Oh, so many things from nude sticks. So nude sticks again. Um I really like nude sticks products and the packaging is always on point because they have this lid thing that's really good for travel and you get a mirror in here. So yeah, magnetic eye pencil in chocolate matte eye let me just show you guys the shade here and what they are because they are all listed on the top and the new launch is actually the matte satin and the gel balm apparently the matte um lippies i guess um are very good and long lasting and non transfer so these are what i got and this one is a uh, sculpting stick. I'm not sure if this shade will fit me. It was like number 4 medium. Because my concealer shade is number 3. I believe. This works. Can't sleep. Pillow spray. Actually this might be pretty good for me. Because I do suffer from insomnia. And from the packaging it seems to be lavender. Let me just open this up real quick. Pillow spray. This is can't sleep right. Deep sleep. Oh, it smells like lavender. I'll try it tonight actually. And I think that the other one is for stress less. So you put it on your wrist or tissue and then you just inhale from Tarte. This is the Tartis Glow. Yep, Tartis Pro Glow as well as the Pro to Go. So this is just a eyeshadow palette that's Probably very good for travel. My sister wants this, so she'll probably I'll probably give it to her. And this one is a oh oh wow. It's a palette, so you get like creams at the bottom, and you get like powder highlights, a uh, cream contour. Sir. Well, I do like the packaging and the two mirrors kind of thing. I don't really like it when highlight. No, I don't really like it when cream products are placed together with powder products because there's bound to be a little bit of fallout and they will just like cling on to the powder. It, it, they'll cling on to the cream. Oh my god, I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, yeah, so let's continue. The Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Primer. 
Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Whirlpool. What shade this is? Uh, oh, it's not like super nice too. May or may not wear it. Let's see if I can. Burt's Bees uh, moisturizing lip balm in pink grapefruit. Becca first light priming filter instant complexion refresh. So this is a purple like highlighting primer, I guess. Becca always does their bases so well. Pat Von D tattoo liner in Trooper. This one needs no introduction. I have like, so many of these. I love it. Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. So I actually didn't really see this as well. So open it up. It's so nice. You guys see it? Do I already have my makeup on? Maybe I'll try it tomorrow or like sometime this week. Hello Fab. Um, First Aid Beauty 3-in-1 Color Correcting Cushion. So this is what it is. And apparently like you get this purple, violet, no, yeah, violet, orange, and green. So you use it as a base. I have that color corrector that, no, that's from Stila. But I guess color correctors are very in right now. And everybody's jumping onto the bandwagon. Personally, I've never really tried. I should. No, maybe I'll like try it with you guys. Kate Somerville Eradicate Foaming Cleanser Daily. Also from Kate Somerville, Wrinkle Warrior. So this is like a pumping moisturizer and serum. Baka, Laka and Co. Avo Lip Butter in Ninza and Olive Rose. Actually, Olive Rose looks really good. Okay, I think we're like at the body care and skincare section now. So Estelle and Felt, Stockholm. Um, Spring Rose Blonde Body Scrub. Oh my god, I love rose everything. So, this is just a body scrub. I also didn't remember seeing this brand. But, hints of rose. Let me just open it up a little. Oh, it smells so nice. Use this tonight. Arcona Magic Black Eyes Volcanic Exfoliating Mask. I like that they have like AM PM here so that it tells you that you can use it both day and night. Sometimes I'm just too lazy to read. I still have no idea how to pronounce this brand. Ui Kui? Ui Ui? Uai? Matte Pomade. So this will be my boyfriend's. Um, same brand, can't pronounce it. Texturizing hairspray. So yeah. Let's see. Soap and Glory 3-in-1 Cleanse, Shave and Moisturize. So, this is pretty good actually if you shave. I do IPL now, but sometimes I do shave my legs because um, they grow out before. Ah, oh my god, where are my words escaping to? So, yeah, sometimes I just shave in the shower with like regular shampoo and they don't always work. So, if this is in as intended, then that'd be great. Plus, it moisturizes. I can't smell much actually. So, shampoo from Botanist. So, they are an organic Japanese brand, I guess. And apricot and jasmine and apple and berry shampoo and treat. Akona White Tea Purifying Cleanser. Alpha H Vitamin B with Copper Treptide. So, what is this? Probably something like a serum. Yep, it's a serum. Oh, the packaging is really nice. This is what it looks like with the dropper and all. So, you only need like two or three drops every morning. One needs no introduction, Caudalie Beauty Elixir. The hair care brand I can't pronounce. Um, it's the hair oil. So, I have this hair oil and this is what they gave me. Good for travelling. And this hair oil smells very, very good. Like, very natural smelling. Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Nourishing Facial Water with Clary Sage I'm not sure how to use this though Toner? Yep, use this like a toner Oh my god, I, I need to learn how to pronounce this brand We Hair Care Treatment Mask So this is a good travel size one Let's see and read Shampoo, Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner Also travel size I already have one set of travel ones And I haven't finished it yet so 
keep it there. That's a beauty coconut wa coconut skin smoothie priming moisturizer. See for sensitive skin. Like a lot of people are big on coconut water now actually. Um if you don't like the smell of coconut, you probably won't like it, but I do, so I have no problem with it. Um, this works stress check face mask and stress check breathe in. A lot of essential oils in this, and yeah, the face mask. Like if you are like very stressed and your skin is tired, you can tell, right? So I guess that's what it's supposed to help with. Next up is the Super Good Play Everyday Sunscreen SPF 50 PA Triple Plus. So, actually I might just use this today. But I'm going out like in the evening. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, SPF is just super important because it not only causes a lot of like skin damage, like aging and like dark spots. It also um, blocks out UVA, UVB rays. Estelle and Thalt, um Biohydrate Total Moisture Day Lotion. Cover FX Custom Blood Drops for Oil Control, which is probably pretty good in Singapore. I actually have no idea how to use this. Like, do you use it as a primer? Do you use it with, like, your foundation? Whatever. I just blotted, like, a little drop to test. It's very, very smooth. I think I dotted too much, though. It does feel, like, hydrating, and it doesn't feel silicone-y. Maybe a little. And it does like fill up the ridges. I sure if you can tell. Um, Caudalie Serum Clad Anti... I have no idea. Uh, oh, okay. Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting. So I guess it's a brightening dark, anti-dark spot kind of thing. Yep, for Radiance. Uh, we're almost done. I do for um, Arcona, so probably an eye cream from Erno Les Les Lo. Um, it's the White Marble Translucent Cream. Also from the same brand is the Bright Lighten and Brighten White Marbling Cleansing Set. So what is interesting is that they have this like cleansing soap bar and like two-step cleansing thing. So you have a cleansing oil and then go in with the soap bar. And if you like, you can finish up with like your Foreo or your Clarice on it. My hand's getting tired. <laughs> um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. Super Goop um, Setting Mist with rosemary so this one is interesting because you can actually apply this as sunblock um as spf 50 triple pa triple plus and you can apply this up, up on top of your makeup usually when you wear makeup you don't really want to reapply your sunblock so this one saves you the trouble of like messing up your makeup just spray it all around and it sets your makeup too um Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. Oh my god, I, I I saw this at the event and totally in love. I got the shade Bronze Bell and you guys have to like see this. It's just like if you are a fan of glitters, you will not regret getting this. Okay, let me just like swatch a little bit. Maybe I should have worn this today. Just look at that. Super pretty. Yeah, so it seems like this shade that I got is like a rose gold shade which is perfect. And yeah, I think there are like six or like eight shades to this. Lastly from Alpha H is the Clear Skin Daily Moisturizer with Glycolic Acid. As it says, it's a lightweight hydrating moisturizer. Yeah, with this, we've come to the end of this video. And I hope that you guys enjoy opening my haul, I guess, with me. And again, if you want to see any in-depth reviews or more information on any of the products, you can feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Bye-bye.